IBM 5150. It took me three years when after making a video on the channel before I even got one. But it's developed a bit of an issue. It's an issue that it had when I bought it, but it's got a lot worse. So, let's switch the old lady on and see what it is. I bet you anyway, now I'm recording, it's not going to show up. Being a computer, you know what these things are like. But we've got our DOS disk in there and uh, she's slowly firing up. Here she comes on the screen and we'll see what she does. Right, okay. Starting to boot and Yeah, as you can see, the keyboard, although it is, there we go, it is plugged in, it's completely and utterly not working. Oh, my knobbly knees are, aren't you lucky? Yes, the keyboard cable has gone buggered. So, we need to replace this, and I just shut it down to stop her stop suffering. Now, it's an original IBM keyboard and one way around this is I could actually actually find out which cable it is and run a new wire on the front. But I have another solution. Uh, this is a later keyboard. It's a clone. It's not an IBM. But it does have the same cable. Even though this has different connectors inside and doesn't work with this system. What we can do is open both, compare them and transplant this cable, assuming it works, to this computer, to this keyboard and ultimately to that computer. So first thing I need to do is take this bugger apart and find out if this cable works by doing some simple continuity checks. Let's get that done. Right, here's our donor keyboard, and as you can see, it's just a generic keyboard from the Eva. Uh, I'm not going to film me taking this apart because you really don't want to watch me screw. Uh, at least, I don't think you want to watch me screw. Just a note, this is from 1987, so... Uh, yes, I'll get this open, and uh, we'll be right back. Right, several minutes later, because... Easy PC aren't so easy and they bolt the buggers in and uh, we have the cable out. So all I'm going to do is go through each one of these with the continuity test on the meter and see if we have continuity for each of these. I don't know. Yeah, that appears to work. Uh, I don't know which order they go in. I just want to find a contact for each of them somewhere. One. Uh, two. If I can do this, and I can get a signal for each of them, I know there's a good chance this cable is serviceable and it's going to make. Good donor. Now some of that crackling mode because my uh, multimeter is a bit dead in the old battery department, but it seems to be okay. So what I need to do now is visit the IBM's keyboard and rip the cable out of that. So I should do that now. I should not show the taking apart. It's a generic keyboard taking apart. I should just show the testing once it's out. Be right back. Right. A few minutes later and we're in. Now this is the one out of the Easy PC and this is the cable from the IBM and you can see a problem immediately. It looks like the earth cable has snapped there on a very bad repair job. Um, so, yep yeah, that is short. So, what we need to do, see the other problem that occurs with these is they're using two different ports and different color cables but what I can do is follow these cables back 
see which pins map the pins uh, to the socket see which one goes to which lead I can then map which wires come from which pins on this one and I can then solder I can then cut the IBM short here and then solder the appropriate wires to the appropriate wires on here and obviously have an earth as well which is yes a wee bit dodgy on that one so and the earth on this one shoots off much earlier so I'm going to have to work out a way around that well for now all I'm going to do is map each of the wiring systems to see how we can solder them together we'll be right back ok uh, that turned out to be a lot more complex than I envisaged because the connector on the original cable is so buggered that uh, I could only get a couple of continuity checks. So what I ended up doing is going on to form and uh, somebody posted nicely what colour uh, wires did what on the IBM cable. So I was then able to look up a uh, pinout for the XT plug itself and find out what pins carried like the ground, the data, the clock, the VCC and then I was able to match them up together I was able to work out yes <laughs> I was then once I had found out what those pinouts were I was then able to find out on the new cable which of these wires lead to which pins so I now know and I'm able to, to match the two up so what I'm going to do is cut the end off this match the wires up, sold them and solder this onto the end of these wires you'll see in a minute when I've done that be right back right and a very tedious half hour later we've got the uh, wires to the two different cables uh, put together now we're going to install it back into the keyboard and see uh, if it fits probably doesn't, no matter look be right back right, I've just got the fans running because it's red hot in here but it does seem to fit uh, once the screws in, that will go in there, sit nicely, sort of, under there, and twist around, and we'll bodge it somehow, but we'll make it fit. Be right back. Right, our new keyboard is fixed together. We finally we got it to hatch onto there as an earthing point. Uh, if anybody did notice, these are actually retrofitted the legs from another keyboard because they were missing originally on this one, so. Although it's not quite sitting flush there, I'll have to bodge that. Be right back. Right, just slackened it off, pushed that back a bit, and the new cable is, uh, well, the new old cable is now fitted. Let's see if this bugger works. Right, I've already tried this a few times, but uh, bad news. Uh, we are getting a 308 error. Now, I went through it again, checked all the connections. 308, 301. That's keyboard error, no keyboard. Uh, I checked all the connections, there was a connection wrong, uh, we've put that right, and I forgot which connection it was, there's a brown one, hang on, brown, 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 oh it's the plus 5 volts, we've had it going to the unused one, so uh, we've corrected that, so it's still coming up with a 301 error, so, it's 301, so, uh, we're going to have to, yeah, do more tests on this one. And maybe map the back of this, the port on this, to make sure everything's going on there, but not good so far. So, look forward to part two sometime. Thank you all very uh, much. You need to put the journey. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>